salutations. Dig in the scene with the gangster lean. So, welcome to Larry's Fountain Pin Reviews. I am your host, the pin bug guy. Dig it. I know that you're good. Well, today is Tuesday, the last day of the month. New Year's Eve will soon be on us. What's your plans for New Year's Eve? Well, we have some plans that we have to go do today. Got to go visit some of my friends at the cemetery. Can't forget them. Uh, good buds. I mean, guys who went to school together and hung out at the uh, drugstore, soda shop, burgers, sodas, kicked it on the motorcycle that he had and cars and just had a blast. So that is one thing on the agenda. But for now, we're going to do mail call for today. And this one came in yesterday, but we weren't home. So I picked it up this morning and just look at this cool box. Is that cool? Look at this cool box. That's what it comes in. Wow. That is really cool. And this comes from, let me get the name down, and I know it is, the AB Rustic Relic. And uh, a special thank you to Bread Banster and Big Bad Bread. Okay, Brad. Big Bad Brad. Cool. So, real quick, it's Big John, Big Bad John. That's a song back in the 50s, early 60s. Cool song. Look it up. Check it out. Anyway, let's get to open this box because I'm excited. It's got covered with bottles of ink and you got pins and you got nib relics and you got all kinds of cool stuff and I'm really digging on these colors. Look at that. That is awesome. So, whatever in there is going to be Awesome! Now here we go. And the trusty blade comes out. And you carefully cut this box open, hopefully. And here we go on this side. And there goes my phone ringing. Bing! Somebody sent a message. Well, any plans for the New Year's to celebrate? Or do you even go out and celebrate? We really don't. You know, I've never done it. I think I've done it once in my life, and that was really about it for me. Never was my thing. I, you know, stayed at home. Uh, and I, cause I'm usually, I've always been to bed early, so... always watch the TV the next day when Dick Clark would do the watch the ball drop down in New York. That was cool. So here we go. Dun 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 dun. As the box lid opens. Uh, look at that. Dun 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 dun. And I'll be doing the reviews on this next week. We'll start up January 2020. I've got three, four, several on the list to, to, to shoot off. So, a card that I will read. Thank you for the card. I will read that. And, let's see. Oh, this is like Christmas all over again. Maybe what I can't be rustic relics. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. So helpful. Huh. And you might want to read just a little of that. Just to, what is it? Okay, Parker Super Quink Ink is recommended as our pens are adjusted to the flow characteristics of this ink. Okay, and you can just read that real quick, get you involved. 
Flush your pan every six months with cool water, maybe a little bit more than that. Depending on the usage and color of ink, you may need to flush your pen more frequently. Yes, thank you. Cool. So Check out excess water and draw a point with tissue before refilling. Alrighty, thank you for that. And here is what? We must examine this and see what it is very carefully. Adults, don't try this at home. Make sure your kids are around to supervise you. Here we go. Patience. Patience. I am getting there. Uh oh, that looks cool. It looks like something I will be putting on my sport coat because I wear these on my cap or my sport coat lapel. I really, really wear this kind of stuff and I truly love it. And Quink Parker, look at that. You got the Parker pen, the ink. See that? That is actually a very cool button to wear. Thank you. Very cool. First time I've seen one of those too. So now we got another one going on here. All right, we'll do this one more time. Okay. And we got, he said he was gonna send me some stuff, some inks and stuff, so he did. And I was blown away, and I was just like, thank you so much, Brad. Here is some, huh, ink cartridges. And I will be checking into this for sure. Huh, okay. All right. Very interesting cartridges. Got a, look like a pink one, doesn't it? Whatever they are, we're going to be checking into it when I do the review. So, don't give up. Now, we got a few more things. Another one of these. As a pal, gets bigger. And now we get into... Well, I'm going to save that. Oh, I don't know which one to go for. Because Brad put in a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, uh, let's start with this. You know what that is, Mr. Announcer? Uh, well, I'm guessing it's a pen holder. Yeah, I'm guessing you're right. It's a Parker pen pouch. I do not own one of these, and now I do, and I will be reviewing this as well. Everything in this box I'll be reviewing. So, let's go with this box. Parker? Is anything in it? The... And we have a Parker pen and a cartridge. Cool. And my favorite color, blue. Lovely little arrow they have on their pens. So, and the booklet. Again, I will be reviewing this soon. And last but not least, the Victor Gazette Parker. Desk roller ball and pens and base. All right. So, here we go. Make sure that I get this out correctly. Wow. Look at all the goodies in there. Look at this. Here is your desk set right there, and it's nice and heavy. It's got some weight to it. That is so cool. And then, of course, your pens. 
This is cool. This is absolutely cool. So, huh, okay, they're still sealed in the package. So what I'm going to do is when I get ready to review these little jewels, I will then open them and get busy. Fine point. So, very, very cool, interesting. Thank you, thank you very much for these box of goodies that I will truly enjoy. And I'm just going to set those in there because I can and I will. So, my friends, thank you, Big Bad Brad. Thank you, thank you, thank you for thinking about little old me and for helping me so Happy New Year's to you and yours. And with that, my friend, I say peace, love, until my next video. Hang with me. I'll be back. God bless each and every one of you. And remember, folks, please do not text and drive. Bye-bye.